So I have done a number of side hustles, but by far one of the most lucrative ones I've done is creating an online course. I've been able to bring in thousands of dollars simply by posting an online course in a topic I had interest in speaking about. And the good thing about it is online courses are great for both individuals and businesses. So whether you are a content creator looking to showcase your expertise, your business just looking for new ways to connect with your customers, or you're just an individual who wants to find a new passive income stream, creating online courses can absolutely be right for you. But oftentimes there's a pretty big barrier to entry. Most people just don't know what they want to speak about. Or if you do know what you want to speak about, you feel like you have to be an expert in it, or you just don't know the steps to get started. Well, luckily, there's a tool called Course AI that'll walk you step by step through the course creation process. From choosing a topic to generating quizzes and assessments, they leverage the power of AI to help you create high quality content and market your online courses. And the best thing about it, you don't need any sort of technical expertise. So let me go ahead and just show you how easy it is to create a course. Okay, so once you sign into Course AI, this is what the dashboard is going to look like. So you'll have your general kind of homepage, you have the courses if you have a list of courses you already made, your pricing, and the Course AI Academy, which will essentially give you a number of videos to help walk you through how to use the tool. So let's go ahead and just create a new course. So you can click here to create your first course. Now the cool thing is you can either go in with your own subject if you already know what you want to talk about or you can have AI generate a topic for you. So it'll be both unique and tailored. So let's go ahead and just check out what AI has in store. So let's select this. So it's going to generate a few topics. So here are some of the topics off top that it just generates. So if for whatever reason you don't like those, you can go ahead and generate those again. Okay, so some pretty interesting thing. Let's talk about, I like this, the evolution of human communication. Let's click on that as a topic that I wanna talk about. So now that I have that topic, I'm gonna to go ahead and just click next. Okay, so now that I'm next, what it's going to do is ask me to select a sub niche. So you don't have to do a sub niche. Sometimes getting into a sub niche just makes it easier for you to have a more specific target audience. And let's do the influence of globalization as my sub niche and go to create course. So next thing up, I'm just going to go ahead and select my modules. So this is the number of different sections that you're going to have within your course. So in this case, let's do five. You know, I like my courses to be very informative, but not too long. I want to keep people's attention. So we're just going to do five for now, but you can slide this if you want to change it. And don't worry if you want to add modules later, you can always just click add after the course is created. So let's go to create course. Okay, so now my course is officially done being generated. Now I can see the course and really start working through some of these things at the top that I'll go over as we go through them. So now let's just go to C course and now I can customize it and tailor it to my specific needs. Okay, so here's the course layout right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna scan it and make sure that the wording in each of these sections aligns with what you wanna say and make sure it's all accurate. So you can kind of go through and see what the overview is. The course outcome is gonna talk about what students can expect to get out of it. You can even look into the sub modules. So as we said, I, I wanted five modules. So here are the different five modules right here. And I can click into each section to read what it's already spit out. Now, if you want, you can even regenerate the title. So this is going to be the title of the course. But if I wanted to regenerate it, I could just regenerate that course title and it can give me something different or I can customize that for myself. I can also, you know, copy sections. I can remove sections. You can really customize this how you see fit. So once I'm good on that, let's go ahead and go to that next step. The next thing up is generating quizzes. I love putting quizzes in courses. I think it's a great way to just pulse your audience to make sure that they're following along with what's going on, that they fully grasp and understand the concept, especially on some of the bigger topics. So you can go ahead and just click continue. So now that we're here, you can add a quiz to an overall module and you can even add it to the subsections of each of these as well. So let me go ahead and just add it to the overall module. So we'll go add new module quiz and you can either have AI generate it, which is convenient, or you can go ahead and generate it by yourself. So I'm going to have AI do it. Why not? So here's the quiz that it generated. You still want to go through and always spot check, but these are the questions that it created. These two questions, it'll tell you which one is the right answer. But if you ever wanted to edit these, you can go ahead and just click this right here and edit it. You can also have it regenerate the quiz. If for whatever reason, the questions that it gave are just not what you're feeling. But now I feel good about the quizzes. Let me go over to the next section. Now we're going to generate the video script. So it's great because AI has already given you the general content for the course, 
but let's say that you want to add videos to your courses. I think videos are a great way to just keep your audience engaged. A lot of times it feels more personable to be seeing a human speaking to you. So a lot of times creating a script takes a long time. Honestly, it took me like a good month to create my script for the course that I made previously. So this way AI can actually help you generate that script and talking points for you. So that way you're not starting from scratch. So let's go ahead and just get a script generated. So I can add a script to different modules or different subsections. So let's go ahead and just get a script for this module and you can write it yourself or you can have AI do it. AI's done it all up until this point. Let's have them continue to do it. So this is the script that AI has generated for this module. I like to use it. You can either follow it verbatim or you can just kind of use it as a sounding board to give you some ideas on how you would want to tailor your video and do your own script and you can kind of take bits and pieces. So it'll even give you like, what the intro shot should be like, things that you should talk over, the transition. It like fully lays out, it's a nice little production, fully lays out how you can go about filming your videos. Next thing up is generating emails. So when somebody signs up for your course, you wanna have a welcome email. Let people know what they're in for, let people know that you're excited and you're excited for them to join your course. And also a sales email for people who maybe haven't joined your course yet. Let's get them excited as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So of course you can generate the welcome email and the sales email like I was talking about. So let's try the welcome email first. Welcome email, of course, AI for the win. We're gonna go ahead and have AI generate it, but of course you can always generate yourself and you can edit whenever you need to. So this is the email that is generated. You can go in and edit this. And this is what will be sent when somebody signs up for your course. And of course, at the bottom where it says instructor's name, that is where you will be putting your name or whatever you want to be in that. Um, my suggestion is go ahead and again, just tailor it how you see fit, but at least you didn't have to come up with it all on your own. So that's gonna be your welcome email for this. So this right here is going to be the course material. Now, when it comes to course material, that is the thing that you're going to add in addition to the text that's already there. And I'll show you how to do the videos in a second. But these are things like you can do PDFs, you can do Word docs. Uh, these are some of the like reference docs that you want within each section. So next thing up is creating videos. So like I said, I found videos to be a great way to engage with your audience and just get them captivated. Now, one thing I should note is in the next one to two months, Course AI will actually auto-generate the videos for you. And it will use real voiceovers that you can select. So now when it comes to uploading a video, simple. I can either upload it directly from my computer if it's something I filled on like my phone or a camera and it's kind of separate as its own file, or I can paste a URL if it lives on a website. So let's say that you have a YouTube channel and you've already talked about some of these things and you want to post that same video that you've already made on YouTube in your course, you can go ahead and just link it. Uh, it's just super simplistic, which I love. So now let's go ahead and just finalize this. You can go ahead and look it over, make sure everything looks good, make sure it flows the way that you want it to flow. It has all the questions and the quizzes that you need and just do a kind of final pass over. The good thing also, you can download your course. So if you wanted to put it in a place like Teachable, which is just kind of a separate course site, you can go ahead and download your course, but you can also host your course directly on Course AI. So people can also just view it on Course AI if you don't want to then go put it on another third party site. So just keep that in mind. So now that we're on the hosting setup side, this is where you'll be able to put your Stripe ID at to make sure that you can get paid. Because like I said, you can host the course directly on Course AI. You'll also be able to specify if the course is going to be free or paid and a few other details. So I'm going to just skip that for now and let's go ahead and just get this course launched. So this is the final page before my course is completed. So you'll see the link for me to be able to share my course directly with people. I can send the sales email to current students, especially if I have other courses. So let's say you have other courses that already have students in them. If you want to alert them that you've made a new course. You can send emails directly to those students, which I love. It's just a great way for you to be able to get the word out. But now let's go ahead and just complete my course. So now that my course is done, it's going to live right here in the My Courses tab. Now from here, I can actually go to my dashboard and from there you'll be able to see the stats of all your courses. So I have 50 courses I can make, I've just made one. I could see the amount that's sold, the number of registrations, all the things that I need to know to make sure that I'm performing in the way that I want to. And I can also just go in and create another course if I see fit. So honestly, the tool is as easy to use as that. 
Now with any tool, any platform, it's going to be pros and cons. And so I wanted to make sure I touched on those. So the pros that immediately stand out to me is one, just the AI content generation. Like I mentioned, when I made my course, it took me months between outlining and scripting and everything else. It's a big time commitment. So I love that you could have all that done within just a few minutes. I think that is a huge win. The other one that really stood out to me is the fact that not only can you host your course directly on Course AI, but if you make it paid, they actually don't take a cut of that payment, which is not standard on most other course platforms. Now, I will say there's like two things that I wish that the tool currently had. Now, one of those just being the ability to auto-generate the videos. And then the second thing is just to take into account my personal brand when it comes to a lot of the AI generated content. Now, I will say that in the next one to two months, there are going to be some changes that will be coming down the pipeline that really help address those concerns. The first thing, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you will be able to auto-generate those videos based on your script, and you'll be able to select a voiceover that matches the tone and the feel that you want. And then also, they're going to be able to make the model match your tone and personality better, so then that way it really reflects your brand. In addition, there'll be more design templates to really give it whatever customized feel that you want. And I know that the AI model is going to get a huge upgrade. So there'll be even more information and ways for you to auto generate your content. So I'm looking forward to the changes that are coming down the pipeline. But that is the end of the video. Now make sure to drop in the comments section which courses you would make with Course AI. And if you're looking to sign up, there will be a link in the description for you to click. I really do think Course AI is a great tool for both individuals and businesses looking to just share their knowledge and build a passive income stream through course creation. Thank you as always for watching my video. Catch the next one.